Hi guys, this is Amanda again. <laughs> um, I'm so sorry, I just keep doing this video over and over and over again. <laughs> and I keep getting people calling my phone, so it's just getting so annoying. This is the con of filming on your iPhone. Okay, I'm so sorry. So this video <laughs> is gonna be my video on my doctor's appointment that I had. Um, last week when I was 12 weeks pregnant on Monday, October the 1st, so my first OBGY um, and appointment. So I'm going to um, be talking about that and then I'm going to be making a new video on my first ultrasound. So um, I can't do it in one video because it's just too much information and too much, um, I don't know, detailed information on both of the experiences that it's going to be way too long and then I can't film it in one video. So it's just going to have to be separated for you guys. Um, so this is just going to be my doctor's update, my first OBGYN appointment that I did last week on Monday, October the 1st. And um, basically what happened was my file was um, transferred over to um, my OBGYN, and I'm so sorry if you heard that my OBGYN um, from my doctor who did my prenatal one, prenatal two, and all my blood work. He had all my blood things that I did. So that was just transferred over to this doctor. And um, he was going over that with me. And um, the first thing he had told me was, I, am, I have negative blood. So if you are pregnant, you know what that is. Or if you have negative blood and you're, you've been pregnant before, you know. Um, if Those of you who don't know what that means or don't know how it relates to pregnancy or if you guys are trying to be pregnant and this is your first pregnancy and you don't know. Um, if you have negative blood, you have to take a shot called, called RHLG. And basically, um, taking this shot... Um, just stops you from producing these antibodies that are no good for the baby. Um, so basically, um, he gave me this pamphlet here, this brochure. I'm just going to cover my hospital um, information. So that's what it is. And I'm just going to read straight from here quickly. So what is the RH factor? So, you know, basically people with different blood types have protein specific to that blood type on the surfaces of their red blood cells. So there's four types of blood cells, which is A, um, and then there's B, and then there's AB, and then there's O. And then each of the four blood types is additionally classified according to the presence of another protein on the surface of the red blood cell. That indicates the RH factor. So human blood is either RH negative or RH positive, and in my, my case, it's RH negative. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's, uh, there's been two types of blood, and you're either negative or positive. Um, I'm negative, so um, basically most people, well, about 85, 85% of people are um, positive. So I'm the 15% that are negative, which there's nothing wrong with it. Um, those who do not have the RF factor are ARH negative. So each mother is tested early in pregnancy. Um, to find out if she's RH negative. So I've been tested and I'm RH negative. Um, and so what does that mean for me and baby? It means that if I'm RH um, negative, I may develop antibodies to an RH positive baby. Um, so if my baby is positive blood and I'm negative, then I can um, create or develop, produce these um, antibodies. And then if a red blood cells, if red blood cells from the baby contact me, then my body will recognize um, them as a foreign substance. And um, then I can make um, RH antibodies. Um, and then what that means is they can cross the placenta and destroy the baby's red blood cells. This is called hemolytic disease of the newborn. Um, and it can be prevented if women who are RH negative are giving the are given the RHLG during pregnancy, which is a sh then it goes into what the RHLG is. But I'm not going to get into that with you guys. If you guys do, um, in your case, if you guys are, if you know that you're a negative blood type, then if you guys want to know, you guys can just send me a message, and I can, 
you know, um, go in deep more detail with you guys in, in, um, in this. So that's basically what it is. So I'm going to be taking a shot. So I'm not really um, concerned about it. Everything is going to be fine. Um, also, I was informed that I have, I'm low on iron. I'm not really concerned about that too because that is really common during pregnancies. Um, I do take Materna. Uh, well, before I wanted, like my, um, my doctor suggested me take an iron supplement. But I told him that I actually do not want to take an iron supplement right now. I want to make sure that I'm doing the natural way possible for my baby to have ev my our baby to have everything that he needs. So before I try um, to you know take iron supplements, I want to make sure that I'm doing everything in my um, will possible. And then iron supplement for me is the last resort. Um, for me, I really do just want to um, try to eat the best that I can and eat the best, um, I don't know, more things that are higher in iron. And then I have to go back there on October the 30th. He wants to see me once a month so he can really examine these things. And I'll get um, more in depth with you guys on the other things that was mentioned. But I have to see him once a month. So my next appointment is, is October the 30th. And um, he is going to see then if I'm still low on iron. And then I think my last resort, I'm going to have to take um, an iron supplement because I really want to make sure, um, you know, our baby is getting all the nutrients that he needs. Although it doesn't really harm the, bo the baby at all. Um, I asked him and he said, all it's going to do is just make me more fatigue. Um, but... Either way, I want to make sure everything's okay and everything is on track. I'm sorry about that. Also, um, I think that's it on the iron. Um, oh, and I'm also taking the Materna, as you guys know. Ever since I was, I found out I was pregnant, I've been taking the Materna um, prenatal vitamins and also one pill of folic acid a day um they do have the materna the prenatal vitamins do have iron but apparently that's not enough because i'm still low on iron so i'm gonna try my best to um make sure everything is okay and i'm healthy and the baby's healthy um and i think that's it he also had told me that i have a low blood count um, and I didn't really understand what that means or what it is. Um, I'm still going to research it, but I did ask him and he said that I have, it, when I have low blood count, I do have a risk of during my delivery, I can bleed a lot and I'm going to need a blood transfusion. So, um, that's crazy and I don't want that to happen, but he did say that he's going to test again because he doesn't know if it's something with my blood that I had before my pregnancy or something that I, I got, you know, towards the beginning of the pregnancy or if it's something that's temporary that's just that was just um, at that time and if it just went away. So October 30th, I think we're going to test for that again also and see... Um, if it's something that I might have throughout the pregnancy or something that, you know, it's in me or something that's temporary and that will go away and then we just don't have to worry about it. So we're going to do that and we're going to see. So hopefully it was something that was just at that moment um, and something that, you know, because I'm a little scared of that <laughs> um, delivery that he was telling me about. So, but hopefully everything will be fine. I don't think there's going to be an issue with that because I was never advised that I had um, low blood count. So, I mean, never in my life I heard that and I've taken out blood a lot of times, many times. So, I'm not sure if any of you guys had um, like low blood count and things like that during pregnancy and um, you guys have been through that and if you guys want to inbox me or leave me a comment... So we can talk and chat about, you know, your story or um, for me to even know more about it. Because all I know is that 
that I have a risk of, of that happening, but I don't know anything about that at all. So if you have, you know, if anyone out there is experiencing this, then yeah. So that's it. He also said that I'm losing, I lost five pounds and he said that that's not good because um, right now I'm supposed, it's important for me to be gaining a little bit of weight. I am not at all concerned about that. Sometimes doctors, they're too, con too, um, I like, I'm not concerned about it only because, um, I, I know I'm going to start gaining weight <laughs> because, you know, when you're pregnancy, you're going to start gaining weight and especially in the end of the month. So like, I mean, towards the end, you're just going to pack on a lot. So you're just going to keep getting big. So I'm not really, um, concerned about that. I wasn't trying to lose weight. I was shocked that I lost weight, um, because my belly's growing. I was like, how can I be losing weight? But I guess I'm just losing the body fat and my belly's still growing. But I don't know. But um, so that he was concerned about. I'm not concerned about it because um, I know that I'm going to be gaining weight pretty soon. So it'll just make out up for itself after. Um, and then I think that was pretty much it for my doctor's appointment. I think everything... Um, besides that, so I'll update you guys on the next op. I obviously I'm gonna update you guys every week, and then I'm gonna upload obviously a video of my ultrasound experience, and then um, I'll update you guys every week, and then October 30th I will update you guys on my doctor's appointment. Okay, guys, so uh, stay tuned for the following video on my ultrasound, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.